So in this problem, we're given the sequence sine of n pi over 4 for n, n taking on integer values greater than or equal to 0. And we're asked to find two convergent subsequences of this sequence, which converge to different limits. So since sine takes on values between negative 1 and 1, it'd be nice, and it's oscillating, so it you know, repeats values, it'd be nice to could figure out if um, a sequence which, you know, say, all 1s or all zeros. So let's just start, try and start out by trying to find one that um, is 1 at every term. So a subsequence of sine of pi n over 4. Let's draw the unit circle to, uh, to visualize this a little bit better. So here we have pi over 4. And if we take you know, first multiple, of, or 2 times pi over 4, well then we'll uh, get 1. So if we take that as our first term. And then if we you know, multiply that again by you know, 2 pi, so instead of 2 pi, let's um, think of 8 pi over 4, since we want to keep the denominator 4. Uh, so we you know, add, add 2 pi in the form of 8 pi over 4. And that gives us 10 pi over 4. So that's just going around the unit circle one more time. And see so if we just do this again, then we get 18 pi over 4, and so on. And of course, you know, pattern for this sequence is um, could be, say, a sub n equals sine of, well, here we're taking multiples of 8 over 4 and adding to uh, pi over 4. So this would be, so the subsequence would be sine of, um, or I should say a n pi, of 8 n plus 1 pi over 4. Or, or excuse me, plus 2. Okay. So here we have n equals 0, we have 2, n equals 1, so we have 8 plus 2, n equals 2, so we have 16 plus 2. So this is equal to 1, um, always, just by the way that we constructed it. And now if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n, well, since it's one at every term, it's the limit is just still going to be one. All right, well, let's try to do a similar thing for and come up with a sequence which converges to zero. So we'll call it b sub n. We have pi over four, and if we take, say, well, this is two pi over four, three pi over four, four pi over four, that's our first sequence. And we could go around to the next multiple of pi. So it should be 8 pi over 4. And 12 pi over 4. And keep going like that. So really all we're doing is taking um, each term of the sequence to be multiple of 4 um, times pi over 4, which of course is the same thing as just taking multiples of pi. So the um, limit as n goes to infinity of n pi, or excuse me, of sine of n pi. Right, so this should be n is uh, is equal to sine of n pi, not just n pi. So the limit as n goes to infinity of b n uh, is well sine of any multiple of pi is just equal to zero, so the limit is equal to zero. So here we have one subsequence which converges to one, another which converges to zero.